Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 and our European Journeyman series at Bayer Leverkusen. Now today we have two more important games, maybe not as blockbuster as last episode when we took on Bayern Munich, but just as important, especially as we lost that game against Bayern. We need to recover our league form. We had four wins in a row before that defeat. And I want to act as if that never happened, pick up our heads and carry on. And we at least have one thing on our side. For the first time in about two months, or over two months, we managed to get four goals in a game. We hadn't even got three goals in a game it's since that 4-1 um, UEFA Super Cup win over Juventus. So we've at least managed to find the back of the net um, all at the same time for the first time in ages. So I want to hopefully carry that on and get at least one of these two games up to a three goal score otherwise i'm really going to be looking at getting another attacking midfielder in in january because we're struggling for the goals and i've got to fix that situation somehow um for this match against hoffenheim we are going to be playing with natagal braga and bernardo silva up front Bernardo Silva, probably the only of the front three actually pulling his weight this season. In midfield, we have Betty and Havertz with Robolo, El Saeed, Trail, Rukas and Henriks, the back five, and Nezovic in goal. Bernardo Silva kicks off this game. Trail at back, finds Naktgal. Now Bernardo Silva running through the middle. On towards Naktgal, but nothing coming of that first highlight, although we have had the first couple of shots in the game, both of them on target, which is hopefully a sign of things to come. We do seem to be on top of Hoffenheim at the moment, so hopefully we can keep that going. I really want to see Naktgal back, get back to the highs that he achieved last season, if we can. Um, and hopefully Braga can do something similar as well. Well, here's Tete on to Traore. Hoffenheim coming at us for the first time. Into the middle for Marchetti. Well cut out by Rukas. Into Traub. He then sends it over the top, but it's cut out quite easily. Marchetti again. Gives the ball away to Braga. Well out of position there, Braga. Nezovic sends it forward towards Bernardo Silva. He somehow brings it down and plays in Naktgal at the same time. And Naktgal, I said that I wanted him to reach the highs of last season. And he's just finished it. But once again, it's Bernardo Silva who is the linchpin of our move. A beautiful volley down the middle of the pitch there after a great first touch. And he played in Naktgal for an easy finish. But Bernardo Silva... What a sign in here is at the moment. Zanor, though, puts it across. It's deflected onto the woodwork and then cleared out by El Saeed. And that was Hoffenheim's first shot of the game and a real warning sign for us. We need to be at the top of our game if we're going to see this one out. 1-0 one is not a good scoreline. We need to get two or three. As I said at the start, I want three goals in one of these two matches to try and prove that we've returned to scoring ways. But at the moment we're under the cosh. Bernardo Silva with a huge crunching tackle there. Now Naktagal over the top for Braga. The front three linking well. What can Braga do? He finds the bottom corner. Excellent, excellent teamwork from the front three there. Getting that goal and making it 2-0. Brilliantly done. Naktagal very composed to get that ball through. And it's good to see Braga finally get on the score sheet as well. 2-0 now. I feel a lot more comfortable with that, especially as Hoffenheim still yet to have a shot on target. Um, where that deflected effort onto the post was not far away whatsoever. Uh, five minutes left of this first half. It'd be nice to get a third before we go in at the break, but I will definitely take a 2-0 because I think we will get a third in the second half. And it looks like the team are finally starting to play together well in the final third which is just what we need at the right time and this will also be three crucial points as we try and force our way back into the top three for champions league football next season and hopefully keep our league title ambitions alive as well um but there's another highlight here el saeed with a good header natsgal controls it well back to el saeed again havertz what can El Saeed do? He puts it inside to Bernardo Silva. Now Braga on to Henriks. Puts the ball through to Natsgal. It was a very good ball as well, but it's tipped over the top by Braun. Natsgal really should have been finishing that one. Given he's got a goal and assist already, I did expect better. Braga's corner is just comfortably headed out of the box as well. Um, we might have to think about changes as this game goes on. Because we do have a big Champions League game to come. So I'm going to make a swap now. It's going to be Betty coming off to give him a bit of a rest. Um, and I think Jench is going to have to come on into midfield for him. 
Um, at the moment, we haven't won a Champions League game so far this season after three matches. And given we've played Anderlecht and Malmo, that is not a good return. So we have to be beating Malmo in the next game. Here's Marchetti to Ita. He's tackled by Bernardo Silva, who is just phenomenal at the minute. He picks out Braga. Excellent ball in behind, but Naxgale's trying to go after it. The keeper gets there first. Here's Niench. Bernardo Silva trying to get it through again. Havertz with it. On to Bernardo Silva. Henriks. Back to Jench, there's a ball over the top somewhere, and instead Ebrahami, I think, has gone in on Jench's standing leg there. This could be a straight red card. What's the referee going to say? It is a straight red card. That looks like a very strange tackle, even in the match engine. Um, and I think he's just gone in for a horrible lunge and cost his team a man. And that should make this result quite secure. Here's Ribolo. Jench back to, back to El Said. I still want that third goal. Naktagal. Back to El Said again. Havertz pushes it out to the right-hand side. Henrik plays in Bernardo Silva, and the keeper's in no man's land. Defender clears it. Rabolo's still there with the ball. Looking to come down the left. He finds Naktgal. Rabolo again back to Jench. Now Bernardo Silva lays it into Braga. Excellent pass in there around the edge of the area. We have that third goal, and the team is finally playing well together as a unit up front. It's taken so long for these new signings to gel in well. Um, and it's really disrupted the team. We need to limit the number of signings we do make in January and in the summer to try and keep together um, the sort of team chemistry that we've enjoyed last season. Just a few minutes left. Braga on the ball. Puts it across. Easily cut out. Luca with a poor touch there. And he's just panicked to clearance. But it's worked out towards Tete. He then comes down the right. Marchetti to Tete. Back to Marchetti. Not really going anywhere here, Hoffenheim. Znor. Marchetti, will he put it over the top? Instead, he goes short to Luca. Good ball to Znor. Marchetti into Luca again. He's gone for goal and he's hit the woodwork. The second time they've hit the woodwork in their defence. And had they been a bit more lucky, it could be 3 2 right now and it could be squeaky bum time. But it looks like we're going to see this one out reasonably easily uh, just make a couple of silly substitutions to wind down the clock um, but this is a very very good result a 4-0 and a 3-0 back to back is just what the doctor ordered and it means going into the game against Malmo I'm a lot more confident about get, getting a win and not a draw which we've been getting so much recently Shields throw is the last act of the game 3-0 a very good win and three points on the board to boot uh, let's have a look at where that puts us in the league table. It does put us up into third place above Hamburg, who are the team to drop out of the front three. We're now four points off Dortmund, which is not insurmountable, and three points off Bayern. Bearing in mind we've lost to both of those teams. Had those results gone the other way and we'd won them both, we'd be top of the league right now. So it's definitely a straight shoot between the top three in my money um, for this title. So we need to be at the top of that game, but we need to do better when we play Dortmund and Bayern later this season. Right, and taking this game against Malmo very seriously, which means we've got a strong 11 going out there with Naktagel, Braga and Bernardo Silva at front. Then it's Betty and Havertz in midfield with Robolo, El Said, Traub, Rukas and Henriks in the back five and Nezovic in goal. Free kick from Braga, sent to the back stick. It's come down to Naktagal, but a very good save there from Crepan. Corner to be taken by Bernardo Silva, looking for the front post. It's come to Naktagal, but his effort is charged down, and Malbo can get the ball away. It's come to Elias, and he's actually in a very good position, but the team is getting back. Thompson has it, though. He had another player outside him he should have used, and instead we get the blocking on the cross. Bernardo Silva's corner in towards Betty and Traub with the back stick. Nods it over the line. He doesn't score many, but he's scored an important one there. This could be our first win of the group stage in game four. Crepin kicks the ball out. Looking towards the head of El Said. Natsgal heads it further on. Comes back towards Betty. Now Rabolo. Looking to take it into the middle. He finds Henriks. He then puts it over towards Rabolo, who can maybe hit this one. He's taken it out wide, puts it across, and Naktgal is in there in front of the keeper. He just nods it home. The keeper really getting his run wrong, and we have a 2-0 lead. Bernardo Silva onto Havertz. He pulls it back to Traub. Now El Said 
On to Rabolo. Good reverse pass to Natgal. He's got four players around him. The shots come to Braga. A very fortunate deflection, and we make it 3 0, and the goals won't stop coming. Corner taken by Yavers into the middle, headed away. Eliasson out to Yavers again, and it's in the middle, and Thompson there has slotted it in. The first time we've conceded for three games, and it's Malmo who've got the goal. A reminder there, we need to say switched on going into the second half, otherwise this lead could quickly disappear. Corner taken by Bernardo Silva into the middle, it's come to Nactagal. Plenty of players still there, but instead he's lost the ball and Nudson having a run down the left. He finds Blomberg, ball over the top has found Elias and he's in on goal and he's found the goal as well, Nezovic. With a terrible attempt at a save, he got a hand to it. Why he wasn't keeping that out, I don't know. But that was a whole comedy of errors from the team. And it's now 3-2, and just as I said, we are at risk of dropping this game after being 3-0 up away from home, and that is completely unacceptable. One more lucky strike, and Malmo are back on terms. We need to see this game out. It is really, really not as comfortable a Champions League group as I thought this would be. It hasn't helped that we've rest players quite a lot, but we haven't rested them today. And it's actually just the team being really poor that has cost us with about 20 minutes left to go. Um, we're going to bring on Jarlo, maybe bring on Miklachak as well for Robolo just to help strengthen up the team for the last 15 minutes. I'm not going to change the tactics. I think the tactics are good enough to get the win today. But it's so frustrating that we've conceded two goals Here's another highlight. Bernardo Silva to Betty. Good ball out to Henriks in a lot of space. He beats the defender, pulls it over. Miklachak, fresh on, comes to Naktagal, and he does find the back of the net. Over the keeper, into the top corner, and it's his second of the game to make it 4-2 and guarantee that we will get a win. Our first win of the Champions League in this match. I'm also going to just bring on Malerba for, uh, for Braga rather than for Naktagal. Um Hopefully Natsgal can maybe get a hat-trick in this game. He's certainly found his scoring boots again. The front three are gelling nicely for the first time this season. And three games running, we've got more than three goals after not doing it, doing it for ten weeks. That is how important this little run of games we've put together is. It's okay to concede two goals when you can score three or four, but we were conceding two goals and yet only able to get zero or one goal. And right now, we are pretty much guaranteed to finish in the top two. Four points off PSG. We're hoping that they slip up against somebody. I'm not sure who they slipped up against so far. Um, oh, they slipped up against us in drawing a game. So if we win that return fixture, we could be in an interesting position. But we're still relying on them dropping points against Malmo, which doesn't look very likely. So I'm pretty certain we're going to be finishing second in this group stage. Um, but really, we should have been challenging PSG for the top. Draws against Anderlecht and Malmo are just disgraceful. But that is going to be it for this episode. At least we have managed to get a couple of goals on the score sheet. Now, I don't want to put myself or put the car in front of the horse um, on this but I think from tomorrow I should be able to return to doing four matches in an episode and also guarantee the daily content will keep coming um, I'm putting a very big caveat on that but I think things are back to normal for me now I'm working on a new football manager experiment as well which will be dropping in the next few days so drop a like on this video if you're looking forward to the channel getting back to its usual routine make sure to follow me on Twitter for all the latest news about the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but until next time see ya